What's going on guys, my name is Yellow s 2 k and I'm playing some MX vs ATV Reflex and this is another custom track review. We are at Zyfar by Vikelli. I'm not sure the pronunciation of either one of those, but it uh, doesn't matter. This is definitely one of the best tracks I've ever ridden, if not the best custom track in Reflex right now. Um, bold statement, but totally deserved by Vikelli. Killer job, man. The scaling, the, the view, I mean just visually this looks fantastic. All the different objects. Um, the ruts, the line choice, just the overall layout of the track is just spot on. I, I can't find one bad thing about this track. Um, this is a perfect example right here. Look at that rut into these rollers. It's just a nice double, double, double. You can kind of scrub this, actually angle a little bit more to the inside. You can catch that inside rut there. Big triple. You really got to be uh, on it to clear that one. I like catching this inside. Hard on the brakes. actually clear all the way to that last little roller there but I'd like to go to the inside but you need to carry a little bit of speed so you can kind of hip this and look at the speed you carry through there you can actually double into the sand section I wasn't doing that in the past I was just doubling in but uh, it's kind of like a triple there um, I'll kind of show you next lap but oh, look at these lines through here all this choice so many options and so much fun to be had <laughs> I don't know it's just it's incredible it really is um, I can tell you right now, if I was watching this, I would be downloading it already, just from what I've seen. It's uh, just that good. Um, it's I, I'm just shocked by this track. Um, I was able to play the beta version. This is the finished version, um, and it just ties everything together. With all the objects and, and everything, just the banners, the towers, just everything, um, it just gives it such a finished, realistic look, and it's just, man, how, how can you beat it? Sometimes I bank off of that. It gives you enough speed to clear this table. That's actually a, it's a small table, but it's kind of hard to clear sometimes. But look, even that rut back there in that last corner. What about this? Breaking bumps into a bunch of ruts that I blew all of them. Uh, I usually catch that inside rut, no problem. But uh, even just breaking bumps, acceleration bumps. It's like nobody does it like this. Um, big old step up triple. A good blend of you know big jumps, small jumps, spots where you got to slow up. And, and that kind of brings me into why I think this track... Besides just uh, the overall quality of the track, it brings me into why, what makes this as good as it really is. And what's the, what the coolest thing about this track is, is that there's, oh, just look at this flow. Look, look how sick this is, first of all. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this track does something good that a lot of tracks don't quite accomplish. A lot of tracks have like a big line that you have to hit to be really, really quick. Um, and it's a little sketchy, so you don't want to hit it every lap. It's too hard to hit. Um, stuff like that, but this track, there's none of that. Nothing that's like, oh man, that's like the really hard big gap to clear. Um, it's, it's just all about the actual skill of all these bumps, letting your rider kind of float around. And remembering sections kind of like that where you need to slow up, which I'm not slowing up enough. But, uh, and just being patient on the entrance of these ruts where you gotta slow up for the inside rut. Or, uh, try to carry your momentum all the way by taking the outside. Kind of lame that I fell there, but, uh, we can deal with it. So there's the double. I was actually kind of tripling in that last lap, but uh, the double is uh, what I was doing, but if you carry enough speed, you can make it happen. A little sloppy through there, but again, some options, you can tell. Jump all the way to the inside, kind of land in that rut. A few options here, you can single, then uh, actually step onto that table, or uh, kind of do what I was doing before few options through there. This lap is a little sloppy right now. I need to get it get it back together, but uh, hard on the brakes. You've got to slow on the entrance, be nice and patient, and then get on it right at the apex of that last corner. Same thing here. You see I took a little bit too much speed. I love this rut. The ruts kind of cross each other. This is just as good as it gets. Um, I, I, it, you can't really say that because something sick might come out even made by Vikelli or Jamie T all the guys that are making good stuff but this right now I think is my favorite track ever made for Reflex and that's saying a lot because I, I mean I obviously play a lot of them and uh, just I, I play every single one really um, and this is just this is the shit it's all, it's all uh, subjective you know it's personal preference but man just just incredible I like this outside line here. Kind of makes you dodge that little inside roller or whatever you want to call it. Outside line here is pretty cool because you can hit this triple um, like I did on the first lap, but you can also do a different line through there. I'll try to hit that next time around. 
Gonna triple into this corner, try to catch one of these inside ruts. And we're back. So, those those laps weren't the greatest as far as lap time goes. Um, I'm gonna have to sit down and kind of focus for a lap time. But, uh, I don't know. This, I, I, I just, I'm so happy that these tracks are being made, you know? <laughs> I mean, we easily could just be playing the same stock tracks on Reflex and it would get very uh, stale or just be playing, you know, really crappy custom tracks. But this is a perfect example of the hope that there is out there. Um, and unfortunately, our hope is not in uh, MX versus ATV Supercross. That's that's just not, at least for me, um, and I know a lot of people feel that way, but uh, this is something that uh, I think will be around for quite a while. I never take that outside. What I normally do is I take all the outsides here, so all the way to the outside, kind of makes you avoid those little rollers on the insides. I prefer that, but uh, it's really not that big of a deal. But you can see how you hit certain corners. It's like if you can string it all together by hitting all these ruts how they should be hit. Oh, even there, you can see I kind of blew it just by uh, getting on the gas at the wrong time. So. It's all about the skill level with this, uh, with this, these types of tracks. And like I said, it's like, it's cool to not have to have these big gaps that are super hard to clear, and that's you just carry so much speed, and that's what separates everybody. No, it's about floating around, getting into the right lines, and uh, being patient at times. And that's what's cool, and uh, that's what makes it feel have that more realistic feel. You know, where you got to really slow up for certain sections, or slow up right here. I'm on the brakes already, full brakes and get on it nice and hard but you have you carry a lot of speed but at the same time it's like you need to know when to get on the brakes early um, and if you get cocky you're screwed it's just so so sick so since uh, this lap isn't the greatest I'm gonna go to the inside to kinda show you this I like that line it works and you can actually hit the second line in um, and you'll actually be able to clear over that single but I still don't think it's worth it Again, hitting the triple. I need to show you that other line, but uh, I think you can see it. It's uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I like this triple here. If you carry enough speed, you can clear it nicely. And let's uh, go into this last lap here, and I'm just going to go flat out, mess around. Um, hopefully put together a better lap time than what's uh, on the board right now. So I might have to focus a little bit more than I have been. Gotta carry a lot of speed for that gap. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to catch that inside. You gotta catch it really quickly to uh, actually clear all the way to that hip, so that's a lot of time lost there. I mean, this is not gonna be a hot lap by any means. I'm gonna have to sit, zone out, and uh, try to get a good lap if I'm actually gonna do that. But, uh,. I want to get something a little bit better than a 2 freaking 20 for a video. That's uh, 220 is not very quick. <laughs> Just keeping it pinned, man. Keeping it pinned. Through the sketchy stuff. Not really hitting some of the insides that I would like to hit if I was actually going to do that hot lap. Damn, still too fast there. Kind of bummed. Usually I have that uh, down. I'm just trying to go a little too quick. That outside there might actually be quicker. All about kind of learning, deciding what you like to do, what's better for your riding style in a way. A cheap hip there. A little too much speed. Still was able to catch that rut, so not bad. Let's take the second one in here. Blew it. Probably didn't make me lose too much time there, though. Love the bumpy corners. Got to lean back. Oh, what? Oh, man. So there goes that lap time, unfortunately. Um, so since that happened, let me show you just this double. I don't think I did it in this video, but double, double there. It's uh, definitely a good option, uh, especially if you're tied up in a battle with people and you want to avoid a crash or anything like that. Um, it works pretty well. It does. I'm kind of bummed I wasn't able to get a good lap time for you guys, but uh, I think I was able to show you some quick spots, um, hit a couple spots really quick, but uh, a little sloppiness, but it's a very fun track and 
even better if you can try to put a uh, good lap together. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this. I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you like seeing on my channel. I always like the feedback and listen to it all. But uh, thanks, guys. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.